Give me basic gear. I'm contacting you to talk about your car's extended warranty. I don't have a warranty. Is this the IRS? I don't have a car. The IRS. My car's from 09. Do you think there's warranty <laughs> on that? All right, Wolf, well, we're up and running. All right, welcome back to whatever this campaign has turned into, honestly. Uh, where we last left off, um, the shits got plane shifted to random planes of existence. Uh, they walked right into an ambush that they fully expected to be a boss fight showdown. Mm. Um, and they were scattered to all corners of the universe. Um, after a couple hours of making deals for some, wandering around for others, uh, eventually, all the party members, uh, at least, who were teleported to random places, along with some of the soldiers that went with them, um, were plane shifted through whatever means um, back to the war camp. Uh, one by one, you all appeared back where it started to seem off. You could smell smoke in the air and you could see it rising from uh, above the hill and indeed the city was f just fully on fire uh, being burned to the ground. Um, but more than that, uh, you looked back down around you um, and the troops were acting strange, and upon closer investigation, as you got closer, uh, Besmos, you immediately saw through what was an illusion uh, with your robe of eyes. You saw that all of these troops were slaughtered, destroyed, torn limb from limb, disintegrated, burned, frozen, all manner of gruesome, horrifying death. Uh, all 100,000, or 109,000 that uh, you didn't bring with you into the city. Um, along with the army of about 40,000 of the Empire's uh, warriors themselves, uh, the Empire's warriors and mercenaries um, that they had hired along to uh, fight with them. Um, you stand now, uh, with your kind of fading arcana check, um, feeling this massive tear in reality where, uh, many, many of these, I mean, you see thousands of dead aberrations lying on the ground, um, all around you. Uh, you, uh, as your arcana check is kind of like slowly fading, uh, as <clears throat> the evidence of what happened here is um, slowly just getting covered up by the natural magic in the air. Um, yeah, the, the tear has sealed itself back up. Um, and you, uh, Grong, who now looks a little strange, um, wearing some darker looking armor, uh, and Musa stand together. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna look at Besmos and say, you fucked up. I fucked up. You wanted to attack the college. I told you it was a bad idea. No, you're the one that thought of it. Now, listen, no, no, I said that we should avoid <laughs> attacking at this point. Not really part of this argument, all things. <laughs> <laughs> Roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's still here, right? With us? Uh, yeah, he's he's standing to the side, kind of just respectfully um, staying silent. I'm still thinking as Bezmos is half of his well, all of his armed forces, most of the hunters from his island are laying slaughtered around you. Uh, but 
I've got good news, ignoring the bodies. Um, <laughs> I think I know how to theoretically beat slash get to him. Well, spit it out then. Uh, well, turns out, how familiar are you with the Nine Hells? Not very. Well, uh, let's just say Morningstar is a... You ever went, go to a bar and order a glass of whiskey and they give it to you no. really watered... Okay, um... <laughs> I can relate to that one. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's, <up> here. <laughs> he's a watered-down version of Asmodeus, the leader of the Nine Hells. I could explain it in, pro, uh, in a different format, but I think that's going to make less sense. So just basically imagine Asmodeus light. So Satan light. <laughs> the, uh, Got it. the new iPhone coming out next year. Um, Sounds easy. The good <laughs> news is... He probably has most of Asmodeus' uh, traits and drawbacks, but a lighter version, which means he's probably immune to fire, poison, and generally everything that's dangerous. Um, but we might be able to kill him with divine energy. The only issue for that... I'm not a cleric anymore for Bahamut, so we, uh, we kind of have a problem. We don't really have much divine energy to kill him with. I'm also at this point going to take off my uh, um, helm of teleportation and hand it to Musa. Uh, and then I'm Absolutely. going to re-equip the uh, Staff of Healing. Because that's all I could think of to I'll... do at this point. Wolf, because it's a helm, would I have to take off my visor? Yes. I don't care, you just keep it. Or I'm putting it in the bag of holding. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it. I'll put it in my bag for now in case we need it. Okay. I can... So, later if we were the good news is I think we can kill him, but we just need someone stronger uh, to take a lot of the upfront damage because he's going to be a lot harder to take down. Uh, and I look over at Joe and say, we can also get back into this place, uh, or get into that um, tear. I'm, we're just going to need probably mine and Joe's a power to get through. Uh, by re-tearing the fabric of reality, in a sense, I guess, open to where this man is. Um, but we can kill him at his source. I, I'm just warning you, Besmos. This will mean a good chance we will probably die. We may, we will probably not come back from this. Well, you will die. I, I've been granted unfortunate uh, uh, living um, standards. So, I'll be fortunate. Yeah, real fortunate. I, I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, but we I can. Text for a tank, but uh, and I look at the city. I don't think I'm able to find anybody. <laughs> I mean, why don't you search the city while me and Bezmos come up with a plan on how to kill? We already evacuated everyone. There's no need. There's no. You don't think there'd be any soldiers left? Any looters? Any potential chance of anybody? Not particularly. Musa will go check anyway. Well, Musa's going. Given to how this plan went, um. All right, Musa, you uh, start flying over the city. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, thank God I have advantage, even if it's only a plus one. Uh, I'm gonna hope I can get higher than that, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I got two thirteens. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, you're flying over the city looking for any Anything sign moves. of... Anything all right. moves. Um, alright. Uh, we'll get back to you. Besmos and, uh... Wrong. You're still there talking? Yeah, so I think with Joe's assistance, we can get this open, um, and we can go in, and I look at Joe and go, well, I'll owe you one, but we'll have taken care of the college, and you can go back to living a peaceful life while uh, this man, you know this person's dead. And if we don't return, you can send some other poor sap in to kill him. I blew all of my high level spells searching for Hizzy. Which where is he by the way? And he's like looking around. Hizzy's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Zero idea. He's probably the smart one in the group. I mean, we can try and tear this open with magic and try and overwhelm the tear again. 
what I'm saying is there is nothing I can do right now. I need rest. I I have used all of my heaviest magic searching for him. We and can give it to retrieving him. him. I I can't do anything right now. Um well, by the time I may be able to do something, it may be too late. I can try and open so it. So I can go to sleep, like, right now. Um, you're going to try to open it? Yeah, I look at it and I say, yeah, I'll, I'll try and tear it <laughs> open. If it costs all my spell slots, at the very least we can get in. Roll an arcana check. Okay. Hey, look, it's not negative now. That's a 21, good sir. Dice are rolling well tonight. Did you roll on that 20? No, it was a 19 plus 2. Uh, two of your highest level spell slots are gone, and nothing happens. Well, shit. Uh, do I have... There's zero need for us to rush into this. No, there actually is, because when he awakens, he's he could have the same powers as Asmodeus. The, you know, leader of the Nine Hells. A man who is probably on par with my own previous god. Uh, we, we have no choice. We need to get into this uh, thing and kill him now. Well, that doesn't seem very feasible right now. Yeah, but I didn't save your people to just stand here and uh, think about the feasibility of it. You say surrounded by 109,000 slaughtered corpses? Hey, I saved about 30 of them. <laughs> Better than none. D does, he, does he say that? No, no, I don't say that. I just say the fact that I did save these people. We, <clears throat> we either do this now and kill him... Or we stand the chance of facing his wrath and whatever else he comes up with. You want your wife back, right? Yes, and if you can get it open, then get it open. Okay. From, from what I know, it's unlikely. But you're more than welcome to do whatever you wish. Take your time. I'll be doing my own thing. Um, All right. Let me check something. And, uh, Besmos, you walk off. Uh, Besmos, what are you doing right now? Uh, I just... I just want to see exactly what damage has been done. I want to know exact... I, I just want a general idea of what's happened. I, I want to pay my respects also. And All right. hell, I, I want to... Uh, we talked about this earlier. What was the dude's name? Hmm? Pecker? No, not Pecker. The... <laughs> Peter Piper? Peter Piper picked um, Pecker Peters? The god we were talking about earlier, last time, last time we chatted about this campaign. Right. Which one? <sighs> That's what I can't remember. I can't remember his name. I want to say it in some... Yeah. The Stormlord? Yep. Gotcha. I, I, I don't think I know him ex exactly, so I can't specifically communicate with him. Because, you know, it, it, not necessarily a widely worshipped god, probably within my pantheon. But, uh... Uh, no, he is not well known on your island. He's one of the kind of side gods. Right. But I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna throw out a... No. He's muted because he's coughing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna throw out like a sort of general prayer, I guess, for assistance. Right. Uh, just, just, and pretty much anybody's. I'll, I'll listen to anybody's offer. If <laughs> I, I just, I just want. I, I really just want fucking help kicking this motherfucker's ass. So okay, what is your prayer that you're sending up then? All right. Um, it's something along the lines of this. Uh, I, I need grave assistance in avenging my people and making sure their deaths were for naught. Uh, and 
I need the power to do so, so that the one who did this can be held responsible for their actions. But I do not necessarily wish to be tied down by uh, <laughs> by uh Listen, I'm looking for something casual. Casual. Yeah, you know, I'm looking for something kind of casual. Yeah, I want I, ultimate power to power avenge to my avenge. people, but just like on a casual basis. On a casual basis. I'm fine with serving the god. I don't want to serve people. My people I want to serve. I just don't want to serve a church necessarily. Just my god. Gotcha. <clears throat> Roll three wisdom checks for me. Got it. I'm good at those. If you get a triple net 20. <laughs> if you get well, a triple that's net 20, net, you get a lot that, of special. That's a net 20. That's a 25. On the first one? Yep. Yeah. That's a 10 on the second. That's an 18 on the third. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, little peek behind the DM screen. If you rolled a nat twenty, something would happen. If you didn't, nothing would. So, oh, okay. that's pretty dope. Um, Sick as hell. yeah, you 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 begin to pray, um, and you you kind of. Kneel down, um... Traditional lizard folk praying position, you know. Oh, yes. Uh... Uh... Completely crestfallen, hunched over. Uh, all of your people are dead. You feel the ground is moist, completely blood-soaked. Um... You kind of dig your hands into it, kind of mix it around. It's rough um and you start to feel a breeze uh on what was a pretty pretty still uh battlefield and it gets stronger and stronger and you hear off in the distance <laughs> uh crashes of thunder uh, and you see up in the sky, storm clouds are beginning to slowly roll in uh, from every direction around the battlefield. Uh, and over the course of this prayer, over the course of about ten minutes, uh, you see these clouds getting thicker and thicker, blotting out all the light. Um, Yo, shit! Who turned out the lights? <laughs> uh... The only light you see is from the crashing lightning that seems to be streaking, not down to the ground, but just throughout the clouds. Um, Grong. Musa finally poisoned someone successfully and they're blacking out. Go ahead. Grong, you feel just a slight tugging in the small of your back, like... Just a gut feeling that you shouldn't be around for this. Oh, you mean Cord, the god who totally loved me um, for trying to save uh, Joe from being beaten half to death. Thank you, Hawkfeather. Um, You're welcome. No, I'm going to stand firm with my axe kind of planted on the ground leaning on it while I'm still contemplating how to rip this portal open. I mean, right. he has no reason to kill me. I'm not doing anything against him at this point. You are a devil. Yeah, yeah. And of you... the nine hells. Yeah, and I also they... saved his. I also saved his ch or helped rebuild his church. So, and put money into helping rebuild his church. So I think I'm at least uh, on neutral ground at this point. Oh, that's wrong. That would be my hope. But I am so... going to continue doing what I was doing. All right. Uh, Bismos, you're praying, and the lightning that's shooting throughout these clouds. Musa, you see it off in the distance over the uh, encampment. You've seen absolutely nobody alive in the city. 
lightning um, the few the very 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 few people that look like they stayed just out of stubbornness uh, or not able to like escape or move um, they are burnt killed dead um, but yeah you see these lightning clouds over the encampment and uh, Besmos you look up into the clouds and you see two burning balls of energy uh, up in the clouds wordless but comforting not in a way that a parent would comfort a child not not in a warm fuzzy feeling way but in a way that's like yeah we're we're gonna we're gonna kill whoever did this uh because this is dishonorable combat um and you see one bolt of lightning streak down from the sky and slam into the earth uh or at least it looks like it's slamming into the earth um uh this lightning, it it doesn't just strike down and dissipate. It is a solid beam that continues for about three, four, five seconds. Uh, and as you kind of stand, you see it, it's about 20 feet in front of you. Uh, this massive lightning bolt slammed down into the body of a hulking warrior. Um, looks to be dressed not in uh, the clothing of your island uh, is not a lizard folk um, doesn't look to be dressed in the uh, in the clothing of the imperial army either though it does have a few markings on its armor just to distinguish it uh, as part of such um, but it's looks to be dressed in armor uh, looks to be a sturdy massively built Goliath uh, who is laying steaming on the ground after just being struck by lightning uh, Killaback yeah hey your orders as a mercenary uh, fighting for this army were to stay put. Um, you heard that there was a force of fighting men going into the city uh, to cut off the snake's head. Uh, to really just destroy the uh, threat at its roots. Um, about an hour later a tear opened up in the sky and thousands upon thousands of strange looking creatures. I mean, you've been a mercenary and an adventurer for a while, but these look like absolute just alien things to you. You've never seen anything like it. Uh, beholders, um, flumps, other, other strange looking aberrations things that don't look like they should be alive um, started flowing out and really absolutely tore through the lizard folk army by the time the imperial army was able to rally itself into actual fighting lines um, most of your men were dead anyway uh, you took out a solid three or four dozen before you fell uh, by, your, by yourself um, but eventually you do remember uh, a burning beam hitting you in the back and fire flowing through your stomach uh, and you lost consciousness uh, now you feel a similar burning but all over your body uh, as you open your eyes and sit up surrounded by death and destruction surrounded by the corpses of so many people who 
what well, you could or couldn't have been attached to, depending on how you feel about people, but men you fought alongside for years. Uh, I definitely feel upset about this. These were good men. They fought by my side. Very honorable boys. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the sky is filled with storm clouds, uh, two burning eyes of electricity up inside them. Um, and your body is just humming with power. Uh, you are at one hit point. Oh, <laughs> you are <okay>. alive. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a stick for you. Uh, you sit up and you see a lizard folk uh, standing about 20 feet away from you just staring at you. He's wearing a robe covered in eyes, uh, eyes of all different kinds of monster or species. Um, some look like dragon's eyes, some look a little scarily like the eyes of the beholders that came through this rift. Uh, some are just unidentifiable. Um, he's carrying a massive spear with this hooked purple barb at the end that seems to be slowly dripping this black liquid uh, and he is staring you down <laughs> alright lad could you help uh, an old warrior out for a second oh me up, please. Uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll help him up I'll die. I'm, I'm not going to say a word I'm just going to keep staring at him but I'll help him up you you hear a few more crashes of thunder and you see the storm clouds slowly dissipating. You know, with everyone in the city dead, I'm gonna head on back. I uh it's very nice right. to do uh you saw from above the city a massive bolt of lightning slam down into the ground and just kind of stay there for a few seconds. Uh even from like this distance. Um so you're flying back. Uh, yep. Besmos, you help kill it back up. Grong, you're just watching. I'm staring at this uh, rip and trying to figure out how to reopen it. There's no rip. There's no visible rip. I thought I was informed of exactly where it was. You were informed that there was a rip. You don't know where it was. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I'm going to be looking for it then. Okay, you're looking for it. It doesn't exist. It, like, from your legend lore, mm -hmm. uh, you got that it opened up, things poured out, and then it closed. It's gone. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, then my, uh, let's see. Theoretically, the weave is damaged there, and it may be able to be reopened, but it's not physically there. Um... Yeah, then the only other thing I'm looking for is some sort of, um... Actually, I have nothing I can do. Fuck. Because I used my seventh, or my, uh, top spell for this. Shit. Um... Yeah, I've got nothing for right now. I'm still kind of just standing there trying to figure out what to do next. Alright, sounds good. Besmos, kill the back. Well, I, you see I, a tiny little fairy flying in your direction and closing fast. Musa missile incoming! <laughs> Absolutely dive bombing you. <laughs> you see a little, like, ten inch tall, fully proportionate man. Or it looks like a man. It may not be. It, it looks a little in between, but. Um, with little fairy wings behind him, uh, <laughs> he, he has a little iron bottle at his hip, uh, and a little blowgun on his back, but the blowgun looks to be made out of, like, a piece of straw, like a hollowed out piece of straw. <laughs> Look, um, I have to be he's a very funny man. I'll admit... You're one of the smaller creatures I've seen in my time alive. I. Uh. Yeah, you all see this 
eight foot tall, absolute muscle bound Goliath. Uh, uh, on his back, there is a staff, uh, a large black staff that actually looks a lot like the staff that Joe has. Um, uh, you see, he has a glowing kind of faint blue glow around his hand and you look down and you see this glowing blue ring um, that seems to be just ever so slightly leaking just like frost off of it uh, just light layers of frost um, yeah that's that's what you see on him bright yellow eyes also Toss a coin to your witcher, everyone. <laughs> Covered in scars, looks absolutely sexy as hell. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, Mursa, it wouldn't work between you. <laughs> no, I know a good bodyguard when I see one. <laughs> Do you happen to have somebody who could possibly give me some medical attention? I'm kind of, I'm kind of hurting. Um, let's stare at Bron. Huh? What? Sorry, I was staring at uh, the off in space. Uh, did you need something? Medical yeah. attention. The guy's pretty injured. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can do something about that. Um, let me see. Um, uh, how are the rest of you doing? I'm pretty good. <coughs> yes. I'm, Okay, well, that does... Alright, fuck it. You know, that doesn't really help me, so... Um, let me see what I can cast on you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll just do a fourth level Cure Wounds on him. So, that will be... Uh, 17 HP back to you. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> But it's a start. <laughs> it's a start. Not at one HP anymore, but we're at eighteen. Yeah, that's uh, that's the best I can do. Sorry. It's all right. Thank you. you I mean, taking a lot out of you. Oh no, that was my staff of healing. <laughs> he's a, he's not... not exactly a healer, so that's the best we've got. Well, I, I mean, you you look at this, uh, this short-looking dwarf man. Uh, long black beard wearing this dark, dark grayish black kind of burnt looking plate armor. Uh, red skin, glowing red eyes. Uh, doesn't look like a very kind man. <laughs> You're interesting looking. Hmm? Yeah, oh uh, yeah. I don't know. The voice is in my head. Give me a minute. <laughs> he is indeed interesting. Oh, fuck, that doesn't work for what I'm trying to do. Uh, if you all have some other idea, I'm all ears, because right now, all I've got left is a spell uh, spell scroll of fourth level, and I highly doubt that's going to have anything useful for us uh, that I haven't opened. So, uh, I got no spells that'll let me uh, dimension hop. Hey, uh... <clears throat> You, you want a dimension hop? Did I hear that right? Well, yeah, we need to go to this dream domain to go kill this, uh... Uh, I don't know, aberration creature? Uh... Well, I can't say what I have will bring us directly to where we want to go. But I have this thing that could take us somewhere. I, I mean... pull out the Well of Many Worlds. That'll work! He pulls out this... Deep, like, Vanta Black. Uh, silk circle. Uh, uh, does this look like it'd be useful to us at this point? I mean... <laughs> you've never read. seen one of these, you don't know what it is. I know what it, it is. It might whenever I... Whenever Musa doesn't I, know what it is. No, out of character, I'm wondering. I mean, if you can get us to the domain of dreams where this uh, creature Morningstar is located, uh, that would be of uh, great assistance. Well, Time to pray. the only problem is, is that uh, where it leads isn't my choice. Uh, how, uh, what do you, 
We're not do you're not doing this again, and I look at Besmos. You've told me this story. We're not doing this again. <laughs> no dimension hopping, Besmos. We're not doing this again. <laughs> I can only after I open the portal and close it, it, it takes a few hours for me to be able to do it again. And you can't control where it's gonna go. Nope. It's up to the gods to decide where we go. Well, the gods love me right now, so I don't I think that's going to work out well. Uh, I'm going to cast again using a four more charges uh, for the cure wounds to try and heal Killa back. It's another 23 HP back. Hey, that's that's much better. <laughs> um, that's all. I, I hope it does because I don't have anything left on that staff now. Um, <laughs> oh, I can bear with it till I have get two to charges to camp. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, we don't have an option. Besmos, you got something better you can think of? Not in the slightest. All right, we pray to the gods and hope the well works. Okay. Uh, let's yeah. let's not pray to these gods. I don't think they much care for me these days. You know what? I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll just give a quick one asking for... God. She's going to rub a quick one out here. All right. <laughs> just, 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 a quick, just a quick one. Just a little quickie. Just a little quickie for, for some for, for guidance and for us to what arrive at our destination safely. He's praying, He's praying as he pulls his pants uh, uh, down. I'll kill it back. Refresh your character sheet. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Just so you're attuned to your things. Um. Oh, I cool. thought I already tuned myself. That's my bad. Hmm. No, you're good. Um. Sweet. So you give out a prayer. Ah. Uh, I am going to say, right off the bat, all above the board. I will let you roll 5d20s. If you five. get a natural 20, then you get to choose where you go. <laughs> if okay. you don't, you don't. Okay. Don't fuck us. Worse than you already have. That's a natural one. Oh. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Yeah. Good start, bud. Get it out of the way right now. Yep. That's a two. <laughs> oh, that was a Just enough. eighteen more. That's a fourteen. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. No. That's another two. Last one. Suspense. That's an eight. Oh my god. All right. That's five. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> Uh, all right, kill it back. Um, Besmos, the now holy man, uh, yep. says a little prayer over your uh, your little silk cloth, uh, and you lay it on the ground. Um, who wants to roll a d20 for me? Not Tren. I'll do it. I'll, I'll I'll do do it. it. I'm jumping in first. I salute all of you. <laughs> Yeah, three! Onward! <laughs> Alright. Where am I going? Uh, okay. You, uh... You, do you just fly straight into the portal? I, I you see walk. You see this, like, Vantablack silk uh, circle, like, lay down flat on the ground? And almost like a cartoon um, where, like, uh, th like the Roadrunner, yeah. Like he paints on the side of a wall, and all of a sudden he can like run through it. It's it's like that. Like you're looking at it, and then all of a sudden it looks like a hole that you can go down. You know, I'm all for it, and I go dive bomb directly in. All right, you you dive in. You see the black kind of ripple across like water, uh, and he is gone. Uh. Going next. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to hop on in. All right. Besmos goes in. You know, I would like to say this isn't normal behavior for them as I'm walking through, but it is. Hey! <laughs> and you hear me cheer inside the portal. I swear to God, if we end up in... What not? Tally-ho! <laughs> Tally-ho! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> For that, your party will survive another round. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, okay, you you all dive through. Um, Unfortunately. 
let me. I have to ask: Is he come? <laughs> is Joe coming with him? You didn't ask him to. No, he's asleep right now. Oh, yeah. Fair. We left him back there napping in the corpses. <laughs> Look, he'll come he's not napping him. in the corpses. I mean, it's Joe. I'm calm, he'll come and find him. <laughs> That's true. No, 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 he's not napping in the corpses. He's napping inside of a corpse. In like I a day, that. we'll call across the dimensions for him. Or we'll end up okay. crawling out of hell. One of the two. You... You f fall, and you feel yourself falling and falling. Hey, boys! Fall. I've fallen for someone. Uh, your I, wings no. cannot support you right now. Um, I don't. My wings don't actually make me fly. It's my magic. My wings don't do yeah, anything. Well, your magic can't support you right now. Damn, this is You're bad. I like this. Um. I'm gonna use Musa as a, a to in case I need to break my fall. Uh, he is far too far below you. Oh, damn. Uh, you can't see each other. You are falling through darkness, uh, and all of a sudden, one after another, you feel your feet hit the ground, and you hear a deafening roar of wind. Uh, so loud you can barely hear your own thoughts as it buffets you and you have to struggle to even maintain uh, standing still on the ground without it pushing you over. Uh, boys? Uh, you are uh, immediately buffeted by sand, uh, coarse, coarse, grainy sand like you are getting exfoliated all over in the worst way possible. Oh, good. Sand um, in my plate armor. <laughs> Uh, can I quickly pick up the, uh, the, uh, Well of Many Worlds? Yeah, you pick it up, and yeah, it can't be used again for eight hours. Uh, oh, did you already roll the 1d8? Uh, oh, right. I have to... I forgot it's not just a flat one, eight. One, Here, one, sorry. one, one, come on. <laughs> Let's hope it's one hour. Okay. It is actually one hour. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Besmos, why don't you go find us some dinner? Okay, I'm gonna go around sniff my hunting for some din dins. Uh, you, hold on. You say, hey, Besmos, why don't you go hunt for some dinner? And Besmos, you hear nothing but wind. You hear a little. Is there any rocks over the wind? Huh? Are there any like actual like solid rocks around that I can throw at Chuck at his head to get his attention? <laughs> uh, all of you have dark vision, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh I can see because the I can see their magical darkness as well. Actually, yeah. I don't. Right. Do, I don't think Goliaths have dark vision. Uh, I don't think I don't think they do. Oh, you don't. He can't see a thing. Uh, Kilbeck, you are blind. Uh, there is no light here. Um, the rest of you can see. Uh, you can barely see each other through the buffeting sands. Um, it is... You're you're in a sandstorm, pretty much. Oh! Um, except you're not in a desert. It is absolutely bone-chillingly cold. I blame Besmos. Uh, but yeah, you... <laughs> looking around at the ground, I mean, it is mostly comprised of rocks of assorted sizes and sand mostly sand but many rocks uh <laughs> i would like to predict the weather for the next 24 hours i think it's going to be a sandstorm look you never know give me a moment <laughs> and i will use druidcraft weather sense why do you have that <laughs> it's a fairy thing. what the fuck God damn it. As a fairy, I get fairy fire and druid crap. Okay. That's all I have. You know, why don't you light the sand on fire with fairy fire? <laughs> it's not actual fire. I mean, worst case scenario, it works and we, you know, something interesting happens. Best case scenario, can... you light Besmos on fire. I'm, I'm fine with either. It's not I'm actually... immune to fire. Exactly, it's so it's a good fire thing. fire anyway, it's light. It's just a, like an outlining of light. Oh good, so that means Killabat can see. <laughs> he can see something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Okay, I'm wrong. Awesome. Huh? 
I like it hurts. My boots are growing. Don't resist. I'm gonna resist. It doesn't hurt. It's just a magical light outline. I'm resisting. Why are you resisting? Because I'm a fucking devil. This sounds like a bad combination. The first level spell. It doesn't do anything. I don't feel like being the center of attention. That's Besmos's job. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is outlined by light. If it fails a dex save, it's all it does. Maybe we'll find we'll find that we're standing on something, and that's more concerning. Yes, so enjoy. You know what? I'll outline myself in light. Okay. So you're, Allow me to glow. You're going to use your druid craft to figure out the weather and glow. Got it. I'll do one after the other, yes. Wolf, you still there, bud? Oh, he's on mute. Give him a minute. God damn it. Oh. Welcome back. Oh, hi. Oh. Hello. Welcome back. How you doing? Hey. I don't know why you couldn't hear me for a second there. No, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so you're all standing around. Weather. Um, yeah, People the weather. Windy. You you predict the weather will be windy. I see, yeah. <laughs> helpful. Really? I couldn't tell. You know, it's, it's a mellow breeze. <laughs> I was... you, none of you can hear each other over the wind. I, I am now going to outline myself with fairy fire so that uh, that our friend over there can actually see something. <laughs> you see a tiny glowing purple stick. Uh, yeah. And you can barely see it from like five feet away. It's you oh, are... just... huh? Every object within a 20 foot cube, everything glowing in a 20 foot cube. No. Oh, so are you getting the entire party? It's everything within 20 feet of my range. I'm casting on myself, so 20 feet in each direction. <laughs> right, then everybody make a dick save. Don't resist. I guess. I'm, I'm resisting. <laughs> I'm not resisting. <laughs> I'm not resisting. <laughs> I'm not resisting. I just wanted to see. I got a fucking I was, one. I was honestly debating, debating making just a wall of ice to like stop the wind from coming at us. Everyone who tried failed, so everyone's getting lit up. Me, me. God damn it. Glow. Oh, Wolf is updating something. <laughs> so we have to kill okay. an hour here. Well, and I this... hope whatever glows is is not below us as well, because if they we're standing on something massive, I swear to God, we're sacrificing Musa. Don't worry, this light only... Well, you don't know I'm doing this. You don't know. Who else casts fairy fire? You don't know what's in this. <laughs> Actually, you've never seen me use fairy fire, but I've never used it before. You wouldn't know that. You work for me! <laughs> and I didn't tell you these things. All you know is I'm a smuggler. God damn it. So you're all glowing. Yeah, I just, I think it's just funny that a a fighter has some pretty strong spells at his disposal. Wait. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, uh, we all glow now. It's just great. We only have a minute of glowing, and then we're gonna be back in the darkness. Oh, oh well, yeah, good to hear. So you're you're glowing for a minute. Um, uh, so what should are you we try guys to... trying to do? Are you just hunkering to... down? I'd say we try to get together. Yeah, pull together. You know what? I'm going to get inside the armor of the Goliath. <laughs> I've done this before. What's wrong? We're doing this again. I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy on myself and say, What now? Uh, making my voice boom three times as loud. As that I works. Uh, you actually hear his voice. Um, not incredibly well but you can hear you can make out what he's saying over the wind is the wind only coming from one direction or is the wind constantly changing mm. it is mm. constantly changing all right all right from so then, what, like every few seconds it seems to be battering you from a different direction all right, so then my wall of ice won't work, really. All right, then when, when the wind batters towards the Goliath, I'm going to let it carry me easy. Flip into his armor. <laughs> <laughs> you crawl into the Goliath's armor. Yeah, <laughs> roll an acrobatics check. 
No, I'm not good at these for some reason. <laughs> You're a rogue, you should be. I don't have a <laughs> sleight of hand and stealth, I think. God damn it. <laughs> catch me! <laughs> Uh, can you I, see right, Musa uh, you see fly up a little bit to to uh, fly into your armor and immediately get thrust away by the wind. Roll a dex saving throw to try to catch him before he gets thrown out of your eyesight. Oh, three! <laughs> well, actually, funnily enough, because he's glowing with fairy fire, I'll say with advantage, because this oh, is like an attack roll. <laughs> Okay, 16 then. You Maybe catch I on, you catch on to his leg. Uh, <laughs> really, like, half the size of your pinky finger. Um, just a tiny, tiny man. Uh, <laughs> and you kind of pull him a little closer. Uh, and he wriggles up into your armor. There we hey, go. At least I'm immune to being frightened. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm also immune to being deafened if the wind is deafening me. It's not deafening you. It's right. just very, loud. very loud. Yeah, it's not right. making you deaf. It's okay. You now have a pocket fairy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> pocket fairy. <laughs> it's the new pocket sand. Let's go. That's right. not what I was thinking when you yeah, said pocket. That's not what I was thinking either. No, uh, new age pocket <laughs> sand. <laughs> mm. uh, all right, so... You said you're moving then? Or? I'd say trying to get together, because, you know, might be not to get lost, because, you know, don't know how long the fairy, this uh, light spell is Bear really going to last. Keep us together! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'll try to gather them up. Alright. Uh, you gather everybody up. Um, you get close together. Uh,. And you're making your way somewhere? Um, it might be better to keep moving, because what you said, it's sand that's pelting us right now? It is, yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to decide if it's a Honestly, better idea to either. your skin is starting to get, like, raw and almost go numb. Um, at this point, you can feel it starting to wear away at places where you're not, like, covered with clothing or armor. Hmm... What? Um, ooh. should we all just like get into our bedrolls? Yes, and get covered in sand. I love this idea. You're okay. I mean, so, I mean, uh, how much sand would really go on top of? Since the wind's always changing direction, I don't. I if don't this, this is a massive goes. desert, we could be under a mountain of sand within an hour. I mean, what's what's bigger, huge or large? Huge. Huge. Uh, I'm going to turn into an ankylosaurus to provide uh, cover so that they wake. They, they can sleep underneath me, I guess. He's gonna be like a <laughs> I mean, we only have to wait for an hour. Uh, yeah. Are you All sure? Right. You, you turn I mean, into I, an I, ankylosaurus. I, I could take a long rest if need be. <laughs> It'd be a short <laughs> rest. A long rest. Uh, no, he's right. It's only an hour. Um... I don't want to waste a. I, I'll, you know what? I'll take a. I'll, nah, I can't really take a short rest either. It won't really give me much. I'll just chill, I guess. Twiddle my thumbs. Sniff all the right. air. <laughs> so you are all just sitting around. Uh, after the first 10 minutes. Oh. Wait, I can make a tiny umbrella out of the Flask of Storms. Hold on. <laughs> tiny umbrella. <laughs> oh, good. That's what we need, is a tiny if umbrella. I, if, if I cast Ice Storm, would it cancel out the Sandstorm? Oh god! Don't! Okay. Then we'll just get frozen sand, that's gonna be terrible. What, you don't want me to cast a Freezing Sphere around us that will take a, will make us take 10d6 damage? No, I'm good! No. We're immune to fire, not ice. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I got is a Flame Rune. Uh, I can make fire if people want my kind of fire. <laughs> my fire's pretty deadly, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're chilling. Um, about ten minutes go by. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. 
Okay. Uh, eleven. Oh, but no. I just, I, I just hope my, I hope my shield is able to protect me at least somewhat. Fifteen. I'm actually pretty happy with my rolls this time. I didn't get something under ten. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys um, are sitting here, chilling. Um, the winds are definitely starting to like grate on your mind almost, but you're uh, you're you're waiting it out. You're pushing through. It's it's a very good thing that the. <laughs> The well is going to be ready in the next <laughs> 50 minutes. Um, another 10 minutes go by, I need another wisdom save. I don't like this. Oh, 10? I, like, I would like to make an orb, because it, it's big enough that I can make an orb around myself. With the light. That's a 20. 24. Oh boy, I'm not, I'm, the wisdom's not doing too well for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Killaback and Musa, you both gain one level of exhaustion. Oh no. As this howling wind is starting to pierce into your mind and it is physically sapping the life out of you. How does exhaustion work? It's go to conditions, you can add a level of exhaustion, slowly take it up. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. They come with more and more debuffs as it gets higher and higher. Yeah, so first you have disadvantage on all ability checks. Second, your speed is halved. Third is... and on and on and on. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, you wait for another ten minutes. Uh, I need another wisdom save. Oh! Ah, uh, eighteen. <laughs> well, seventeen. I, th I think we're all good. 23. You are. Uh, you are halfway through. You wait another 10 minutes? Yes? No? Somewhat. Alright. Uh, Musa, you gain another level of exhaustion. And uh -huh. Killaback, you gain another level of exhaustion. Yay! <laughs> we are resting whatever dimension you we are. <laughs> two-thirds of the way through. Um, do you wait another ten? Twelve. We gotta... Alright. Uh, twelve, you gain another level. These, the DC goes up every time. Uh, three! Kill, you are at three levels. Musa, you are at three levels. Uh, Grong, you're just barely fine. And Besmos, you are fine. The last ten minutes. Uh-huh. Final ten minutes. All right. Yeah, that's four levels of exhaustion. All right. Let's Marissa, roll. Four. I believe your hit points are halved. Oh, I fuck. think that's what it does to you. I am Kill resting. Kill back. You're yeah. at four. Uh, Besmos, you're fine, and Grong, you're fine. Naturally. Get us out of here. Go. So, Go. you you feel Killaback as. As you feel the well of many worlds come online, oh. you feel almost your soul being started to, like, just slowly wash away with the wind. Uh, it's not even that loud to you anymore. It's just this kind of dull thrum in your head as you feel this urge to just... Close your eyes and let the wind take you like it takes everything else here. Uh, but you feel the well come back alive. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, you slam it on the ground. Let's get out um, of here. Uh, you hear... Uh, as you see Killaback slam the well of the worlds on the ground and just like so exhausted just hands and knees crawl into the portal 
together uh, with Musa inside his armor. Besmos, I don't, I can't figure out why they're having problems. This is, you know, easy day today. Zero idea. Uh, just walks through comfortably. Musa's sleeping. Musa is sleeping. Moose is sleeping. Okay, who wants to roll a d20 for me? I'll do it. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. All right. All right. Let's see what it is. Twelve. No, Twelve. Killback said he would. Damn it. Nineteen. Yeah. 19. yeah. <laughs> oh, tell me we go to the nine hells next. <laughs> Back to the Nine Hells, go! <laughs> Fucking sitting in okay. front of Asmodeus or some shit. You, uh, you, you crawl through the portal, and you feel that same feeling of falling as your no. eyes are slowly, like, kind of just fluttering close. Oh, uh, no. Both you and Musa, as you're just struggling to stay awake and alive at this point. Um, and not even landing on your feet, just landing gently on your side. You feel soft, slightly wet, what feels like earth beneath you as you just fall asleep. You are super exhausted. No! no. Uh, Besmos and... Um, and Grong. Yes. You you walk through the portal. Um, <laughs> you fall and feel your feet land on fresh, moist, blood-soaked earth surrounded by the battle scene. Motherfucker! <laughs> I just look at Bezmos and go, it's not worth it. Let's just take a long rest and wait till Joe's ready tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm just, I'm gonna start dragging Killaback uh, to a fucking whatever building looks semi intact. Fold up the well. Besmos, take care of the well. I'll take these two. I'll fold it up and I'll put it in his bag or whatever. All right. Now what's the D? What's the D eight for the well at least? We don't need it now. We're not gonna worry. We're gonna get a long rest anyway. Yeah. It'll be ready after two hours though. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go find a building with semi not collapsed and try and uh, sleep in it. All right. You you find one of the war tents that's like half burned. Uh, you remember how it got half burned? It was not from the battle. It was Musa. Yes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Where are we? Just the question. You, you're out yeah, cold. You're back on the material plane, right? Like back on the battlefield where all you guys left an hour ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing happened. This is a net loss for you guys. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, I mean, I never suffered any of the consequences, so I'm perfectly yeah, fine. You all take a long rest, so Killaback and Musa, you are at three levels of exhaustion. I'm not waking up until I have none. Mate, you literally will sleep you... through the battle. <laughs> you can't choose when you wake up like you can't in real life. Yeah, I can go back to bed. Um... <laughs> if, if you want to go back to bed, that's one thing, Here. but you all come to consciousness um, oh. in the camp. You see Joe is just kind of peacefully snoozing. Um, I want to go back to sleep. I'm going to take all wake, Musa. Yeah, kill him back. And um, Musa are still like just huge bags under their eyes. They're super pale, a little gaunt, and just... Mo they look absolutely thrashed. Musa, come sleep in my armor. I got you, man. I'll be in the back anyway, so that way awesome. you don't get jarred around. <laughs> I'm going to open the little, conta little container area of my gauntlet so he can go sleep in there. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if you read the armor, but you can just shape it to have uh -huh. a little pocket in it now. Yeah, in, in, the, in the palm, I'm just going to put him in there. All right. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna go over to Joe and be and uh, try and count gently. Wake up the very powerful Lich Wizard. Um, <laughs> yeah, you uh, you kind of shake him a little bit, and he uh, um, he does just like slowly 
<sighs> Joe, Joe, my grandmother's wet calling. He sits bolt upright <laughs> and he starts to sprint out of his chair. No, buddy, no, it was a joke. Uh, and then kind of turns, <laughs> surveys the scene, sees that he is where he thinks he is, and he just kind of... Oh, screw you. I mean, I can kinda shake rubs you. rubs his eyes a little bit. <laughs> uh, we need help. Can you get... Do you think you can uh, toss us through that uh, dimension into uh, this uh, dreamland where uh, Morningstar is? Uh, yeah, I can certainly try at this point, sure. Alright, also, this is, uh, as I point to the slug on the ground, uh, this is our new friend. Um, <laughs> he, he has a well... <laughs> Um, we didn't the massive eight foot tall ripped slug. I never got his name, but he has a well that tosses you into a realm with deserts. Um, and now he's exhausted. So, uh, oh, interesting. I may need that. You know, I'll I'll write it down as an item. I will look out for you while we're uh, traveling. No, I need that right now. Like, Let's go. go. Come with me. go. Chop, chop. And he just kind of like walks off. He's still like half asleep. <laughs> Um, and he just starts walking down the hill into the battlefield. Yeah, you know, Besmos, uh, do you, do you have plans on how to clean this afterwards? God. I never told you about our ritual barons. Uh, oh, well, that's gonna be a lot of teleporting. Joe, you know what, we wish you best of luck when that pops up, um... <laughs> don't think about it, my friend. Just enjoy your rest. Yes, and don't worry, my. I don't get to rest anymore. <laughs> Y'all woke me up. I mean, you do when we leave. I mean, just think of it this way: we may not come back, so this is might be your chance to get rid of us. Maybe. Well, all right. At least well, two of here us. We go. Oh. Uh, you you all walk um, down into the battlefield, and he he kind of waves his hands kind of haphazardly at this point uh, and a few very precise motions uh, and you see him like slam his hands together and this small little orb of blue light uh, appears in his palms and as he throws his hands outward it expands into this massive blue orb that just expands outwards and outwards as this pulse uh, and he looks around the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't see anything that he sees, but he's just kind of like slowly wandering around, still half asleep, just like, yoink, take something from one soldier. Ooh, that's pretty. Take something from an aberration. Uh, <laughs> oh! As he's just wandering through here. Um... And then he stops and looks up in the sky and goes, <sighs> Okay. All right. Can I, uh, can I see that well? Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, he grabs the well, and you see he kind of tosses it almost like a pizza dough. Uh, tosses it up on his arm a couple times and like spins it and then throws it up in the air uh, and you see it hovers about 10 feet in the air um, huh. didn't know it could do that it can't uh, and you see he takes his staff which now Killaback now that you're noticing looks identical to yours do you have hey, a, that kind of um, looks like my staff do you have a staff of the fucking Archmage he, or something? He turns around and goes, Oh. Well, you shouldn't have that. <laughs> He's with us! We gotta go kill the demon so we stop bothering you. That's mine. That's good to know. <laughs> oh, God. He turns back around and looks up at the sky. Um, and... You see, he shoots a bolt of black energy up towards uh, the well. Um, and you see it kind of tethers onto him. And you see he bears down for a solid 30, 40 seconds. Uh, just concentrating, focusing. And let's see if he can do it. If he can't, we're screwed. Uh, 
Just can't get to sleep for three more days. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see the black uh, void of the portal actually open up. Uh, into what looks like a starry expanse with a massive, massive moon uh, up in the sky. Yeah, Morning okay. stars in there? I look at Joe. Uh, seems like this is where uh, where the rift came from, yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. Charge! <laughs> I'll just grab oh, Killaback nice. and charge there. Jumps in. Charge <laughs> you... or whatever. I'll easily leap the ten feet off the ground because you are absolute beasts absolute uh, up beast. into the portal. Uh, the last thing uh, you all hear is uh, Joe just kind of muttering to himself. Oh, I miss that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> you, uh, you jump up into the portal, but you all feel this strange sense of vertigo as you jumped up into it and you felt the gravity pulling you back down, and as you pass through the portal, you feel like you're falling face first upwards. Um, and you all one after another slam into ground face first. Uh, piling on top of each other with Killaback last uh, <laughs> slamming down on the rest of you um, uh, and you are you look around and you are in a very very strange environment it is pretty brightly lit for what looks to be nighttime. it feels like there's this ever-present kind of faint silverish bluish light that just per per perpetrates whatever the word is it, it's just all around you um uh you are in what looks like a forest but it's a very very sparse forest trees every 10 to 15 feet uh, so you can see through the canopy up into the sky, and you see the main, main source of light uh, is this massive moon, way, way larger than it should be. It, it encompasses most of what you can see in the sky, and you can see stars off in the distance, space around uh, the moon, but it takes up most of your vision in the night sky. Uh, welcome to the Plane of Dreams. Uh, quick question. Am I able to pick back up the, uh, Wall of Many Worlds? Yes, you are. Alright, good, good, good. <laughs> you look back through and you see, uh, Joe just kind of staring at you. <laughs> and as you pick up the well, you see his image fade and it goes back to black. Uh, oh, oh. Go ahead. Okay. Well. All right. Yeah. Uh, Be I was like, wait, kill that. Go ahead, man. Uh, but all right. Uh, Besmos, uh, you're the tracker. You're gonna be the one who's able to find him better than the rest of us. All right. Uh, on it. Uh, I will try and hunt this man down. I'm just going to say I am not fit for combat right now. <laughs> well, I'm still good I waking up. good yeah, news. I have a Pokemon now, so we're good. <laughs> I can I can't wait till Grong just chucks a sleeping Musa into combat. Also, I am going since I recharged my staff of healing after a long rest, um, and I got five charges back. Um, <laughs> I am going to cast uh, the mass cure wounds or not mass cure wounds. Sorry, uh, cure wounds um, from it at, uh, to get him some more uh, hit points. Well, so uh, you need a long rest. He's full on the hit points. Oh, is he? Yeah, oh, okay. it's just that it's just yeah. that my max hit points are at where. Oh, because exhaustion. I I mean, well, with with three levels of exhaustion, you are back up to full max. Oh, it, uh, for with some reason, four when levels, I, you when I uh, did my long rest and I took down the exhaustion level, it, it booted me down because, to eighty five. Because, 
because when yeah. you took your long rest, you did you didn't click the check mark that uh, doesn't reset your max hit points. Yeah. Uh, so there you right. go. I, if you refresh, I reset it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks. Vesmos, yeah. uh, it's up to you, man. You tell us where we're going. Got it. Now keep you mind, are I in do... a forest. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, I was just gonna, yeah, I do have a, a beautiful disadvantage on all attacks I make right now. You'll be fine. <laughs> you just gotta take damage for us. <laughs> all right. Do you, do you need plate armor? I got that if you need it. I would love some plate armor. I, I'm gonna pull the half plate out of my uh. Uh, bag of holding that I've been carrying, uh, and give him the half plate. Wolf. Okay, you uh, you give him some half plate. What's up, Trent? Uh, you remember that little feature we talked about uh, a few days, uh, a while ago? About, I do not uh, message me. Or just tell me if you don't care that they know. Uh, the expend a spell slot feature for the body transformation it's right you have not practiced it whatsoever oh, so sorry. you can attempt to try it uh like spur the moment but it's going to be you're going to it's have going to make to a difficult. roll okay yeah. it's uh, possible <laughs> like you can certainly try oh give it a shot uh, I want to try and... Really? Now? Now when we're about to fight the boss? I mean... <sighs> I mean... I might as well. No! No! Might as well as when we're fighting, like, fucking goblins. Uh... Not a boss that's literally shaped after the nine mm. levels of hell leader. <laughs> uh, Grong, you could have your half plate back since it actually doesn't uh, improve my stats. Oh, okay. Well then, sure. I'll take it back. I mean, if you're gonna complain about it, then I guess... I I'll am! Because I don't want to deal with that. Fine, I'll just track him instead, then. How? Uh... Sniff. Use that lizard nose. Find your wife. <laughs> Gotta use that lizard nose, as DM said. <laughs> okay. Lizard uh, nose... Maybe roll, for... roll a perception check, I guess. Oh, I rolled survival. Would that work? Sure. Okay. Well, I got an 18. Okay. You can't sniff out Destrian because he's not within, like, I mean, being generous here, he's not within a mile of you. Um. You do get the very distinct sense that you are once again on the same plane of existence as your wife. Alright, time to banish uh, Besmos. Fucking where? Soulbound, I should be able to give a, get a general direction where. Where? Your general direction that you get from Soulbound is up. And you look up at the night sky and you see the moon. She's in the Wait, moon. Musa, Wait, Musa, the yeah, helm of teleportation. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to look up and just point up and say, there. Right, Besmo, right, Besmo, Musa has the helm of teleportation, but I don't know if it'll help us here. There. No, I got that. Uh, do you... I mean, we can try that helm and see if it'll take us there. Okay. It, there's a chance we get set someone where even more weird, but, you know, I mean... There. <laughs> Musa will push the helm out of the gauntlet of the fall to the ground as he stays. Goes back to oh, oh, thank you, Musa. You're the only one who is attuned to it. <laughs> get your ass out here. You... You see, Musa, as you were curled up in the armor... The armor just melts away around you as Grong is yelling at you. <laughs> I swear to God, if you don't do your damn job, I'm not paying you. Figure it out. Well, 
You put on the helmet. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see how it is. Leave me alone. You take an hour, all of you sitting here, to attune to the, uh, the helmet. You're very, very lucky that this plane of existence doesn't have the same ten minute effects that oh God. Pandemonium did. Oh! Well, good to know we're in Pandemonium. Th Killaback, you've got great odds, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> great place. Great place. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Can we back to the like that place. Yeah, right? Can I go back there? God damn it. Just activate the damn helmet. Let's go. <laughs> like, fuck you. Tune. <laughs> you take an hour into tune. Uh, I'm just looking something up real quick. Where, where are we going? The moon. Look up. <laughs> there is no way. This is gonna work. Yeah, but <laughs> you look up at the massive moon in the sky. You know what, you're, you know what, Musa? Musa, you're right. I'm just gonna throw you as hard as I can. <laughs> you know, take my hand. We're gonna go straight to wherever this brings us. Come on. Yeah. Grab the tiny fairy hand. All right, you all circle up. <laughs> hold hands. Uh, Killaback, these are the weirdest people you've ever seen <laughs> in all of your days of adventuring. <laughs> Most chaotic as well. Mm -hmm. That last part fits very well. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All to save one man's dead wife. I guess we're tell. I guess I'm gonna roll a d100 to go to the freaking moon. The All right, roll roll a d100. The moon inside the dreamland. Please don't go to the actual moon. <laughs> that's, that's a sixty. Besmos is just lizard John Where are we going? I'm looking up at the moon as I teleport. Where are we going? Okay, let me look something up real quick. I've never been there before. And there's no way this is going to work. I, okay. It can't be any so, worse. The good thing is it's not a mishap. Right? Okay, that's, yeah. that's the happy like thing. Like my first time, yeah. I rolled well. Um, you are off target. Are we at least on the moon? Um. You. <laughs> you looking up, um. Into the sky at this massive moon. Um. You. All feel this shove in the back, like you're being shunted forward as this teleportation takes over. Uh, and you are up in a tree. Besmo, or Musa, there are no trees on the moon. What the fuck? I could, I could have climbed up here myself. We're doing it again. Wait, right. what, can, we get, can we get a look around to see where we are exactly? Are we still yeah, on? The, uh, you, you, you take a look around and you are about 15 feet above where you were. Oh shit, 95. Oh no. 95? If we can't 95. make it to the moon, we're bringing 95? the moon to us. Yeah. 95. <laughs> we, I'm so curious how you would expect to do that. And I can't wait to ask you after game. He's only got one more teleportation. 95. You, you all feel this massive shove as you're shunted forward again. And you all feel solid ground underneath you as you, uh, you look around, and you are surrounded by a barren, gray landscape that seems to be shining uh, with this very bright white color. It's, it's a very light gray landscape, and it's extremely bright. Uh, you look up in the sky, and you see a planet above yeah. you. <laughs> good, good job, Musa. Yeah, I, I reopen my gauntlet and... <laughs> <laughs> you see Musa crawls back into the armor and it seals up behind him. Uh, <laughs> Earth to Major Tom. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna use uh, immediately. Uh, you're all fully breathing. Oh, okay. Um, gravity does seem to be a little bouncy here, but not extremely so. Um, though you wouldn't know uh, why that is, because oh. y'all aren't great with physics and medieval fantasy times. Be Besmos, um, what's your wife's name? 
I don't think he knows. Besmos? <laughs> Besmos never learned his wife's do, name. You do know your wife's name, Besmos, right? <laughs> Tren? Wait, I know how Buddy? to do this. I got this. I know exactly Call what him. to do. Yeah. Call him. <laughs> Let's see. I swear to God, if you call, fuck it now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, what, what? What's your wife's name? It's Tiana. Tiana. Okay, I'm gonna uh, cast thaumaturgy on myself and yell her name as loud as possible. Uh. Hey there, I'm gonna get someone's attention. That's not... I'm gonna lightly tap on his hand and stop. I shake my hand as I put uh, put it up to my mouth and yell even louder, so that way it's also <laughs> echoing into the armor. That's a bad idea. Too late. <laughs> you yell uh, often to the distance, Tiana. And you feel the moon start to vibrate a little bit. Boys, uh, I think I've activated her. <laughs> I've activated her. If I hear you say this, um, if I hear you say something like that about my wife again, I will punch you off. I was talking about the, the thing underneath us that we're standing on, not your wife, but that's okay. <laughs> Better joke, alright. Uh, uh, yes. As you continue to stand here, the moon is starting to shake more and more violently. Oh, morning star! Let's see if that gets his attention. Nothing. Okay. You're all just standing. Uh, you see there are large, like, clouds of dust starting to rise up from... I mean, most of the face of the moon is covered in this, like, very, very fine powdery gray dust. Um, it's starting to rise up and slowly kind of, like, create these small little clouds, uh, as the moon is vibrating, and you're starting to see, like, some of the small rocks and pebbles and stuff start to skitter across the moon, too. Uh, I'm gonna shout lastly for the last few seconds of my thaumaturgy, uh, the nine hells have come to collect! Let's see if that gets his attention. Fucking tax collectors. No, no, he's a. Uh, so I, I, I turn to the party as the spell ends and go. He, go ahead. <laughs> oh shit, the IRS is here. Yeah. They're my worst enemy. No, I, I'm gonna turn to this party and go, yeah, by the way, so he's like a dreamed up form of Asmodeus. So, forewarning, uh, this is about to get really bad. So. I have no idea <laughs> what's going on and I'm ready to fight. I'll do it in the morning. Over the next 30 or so seconds, you, uh, you feel the moon start to shake more and more and more, and you start to have an actual hard time, uh, staying standing. I need all of you to make strength saving throw. I'm kidding. I'm... As you see, the actual surface of the moon begins to split and crack, and you see 18. small crevasses beginning to form. Eight. <laughs> Some very strong lads we have here. Musa do doesn't have to worry, more... he's inside me. Yeah, do I have to because I'm in the armor? Uh, no, you just fall with Grong. Yay! Uh, Grong, you <laughs> can't hold your balance. Uh, Besnos, or Besmos, you fall over. Killback, you sturdy as a tree trunk, you're just kind of Letting it shake you. You're I've too tired to legs. even try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you feel it hit almost a peak where you see these large masses of moon land shaking back and forth rapidly. Uh, and you all hear a deafening roar uh, uh I think I very very it. very distinctly the voice of Destrian. for all of you who have heard his voice oh good a roar of pain a roar of anger and a roar almost at the end of triumph 
as you don't see what's going on where he is, you can't pinpoint where the sound is coming from. It feels like it's coming from all around you as you have to throw your hands over your ears just to keep your sense of hearing. Uh, not so much Killaback because you are immune to being deaf, but... Me too. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you too. <laughs> uh, but it's still extremely loud, louder than the winds of Pandemonium. Um, and you see throughout the starry sky ripples begin to form almost like they did on the black void of the well of the worlds ripples begin to form and you see all at once around you the void the stars shatter like glass as if it was an illusion Oh, and good. behind it, pure black void, separated only by a massive, all-encompassing, burning white net. I feel like we've been brought to the Thunderdome. And the shaking stops. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's sad that that's where you guys get that reference, because I was thinking, uh, fucking movie. God damn it. No, I, I know the movie, but that's what I thought of. Well, it's a song. It's also uh, from a movie, uh... Fuck, I gotta look at yeah, the play. Yeah, it's quite a few movies, but it's a song. Anyway. I'm ready for the monster jam. The moon stops Mad shaking. Max. The roaring stops. And everything is still. Where's the wife? Mate, if that was Where's your wife, if, if that was your wife, I'm really worried what Morningstar you're, is doing. You're kind of You're stretching your feelers out uh to try to find your wife. You get the sense of down. I point down. No. Where? Into in the moon? Oh good. Can you dig? Because I can't. Uh, I'm not good with any mining equipment. Oh, I do have a pick. Um, Fuck. You just get that direction. That could be in the moon. That could be on the other side of the moon. You have no idea. We should just call Destrian a little bitch and instead and wait for him to show up. He's gonna get here eventually. You know, not all of my monsters respond to your insults. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Can I roll to intimidate by calling him Dirty Bathwater with Thaumaturgy? <laughs> again, again. This is loud. Roll intimidation. Okay. Uh, I think... Wait, do I have advantage on the... I do not, unfortunately. I just have proficiency. Hey, Desperate, I want to talk again. We had a great that's, philosophical that's, chat. That's a 14. 14. You yell that he's dirty bathwater. It's, it's a new insult. I'm trying to that's get it, it to catch on. Oh, well. <laughs> I heard it from a cleric in the distant land. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest oh, of insults. If you know that cleric, then Steve isn't far behind. It's okay. Oh, fuck Steve. All my homies hate Steve. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Mike said he loves Steve. Oh, man. Uh, well, I do love Steve. Besmos, why don't you lead the way, mate? I mean, me and Killaback really don't know where we're going here. Yeah. Alright, got it. Um, and even if I did know where I was going, I'm too exhausted to remember. We're on the moon, I'm gonna, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I- you know what, I'm gonna go do a little wild chat here. I'm gonna try and communicate with Wifey. Okay. Cause he can't remember her Roll name. a wisdom check. Tiana. Yeah, no, I, I remember, I just said Wifey. Wisdom check? Yes. That's a 24. <laughs> Give me five words. Where are you? Exactly. Smoochie's love. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Exactly. Babe. <laughs> love. God damn it. I sleep 24 hours in one hour. Darkness. 
horrifying hate this guy. Sounds Fair like enough. one of my exes. Well, they said, <laughs> uh, well, it's somewhere in the dark, so that means it could be inside the Earth, or it could be on the other side of the moon. The dark side of the moon. Yeah. Musa, hush! And I shake the goblin. Uh, Wait goblin. a second, that just gave me, gave me, gave me goblin, one second. Goblin, where? <laughs> I will move you to the ass, Musa. Don't ta- don't challenge me right now. <laughs> you feel the metal of the armor just kind of constrict around you as you feel yourself moving. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> and now you're about to learn why they call us troll bleeder. <laughs> Be afraid. I'm leaving the armor and I'm sleeping on the floor. You can't. It's enclosed around you. <laughs> Dark side of the moon. God damn it. No, no kryptonite. Uh, so yes, what? kryptonite. We're, we're just following <laughs> Besmos, I guess? Yeah, yep. Besmos, are you just walking? All right. Yep. You guys in. walk for 5, 10, 15 minutes, an hour. Two hours. You, uh, this landscape is incredibly barren. You haven't seen anything. You saw off in the distance, um, in just kind of a parallel direction to you guys, uh, a very, very small structure, uh, looked to be some sort of very, very small temple. Um, just broken, mostly reduced to rubble, uh, just off in the distance. But you guys keep moving, uh, continuing forward in your path, uh, going up over kind of hills and down into these massive, massive craters on the surface of the moon. Uh, and about two, two and a half hours into your journey, uh, you are in a crater, uh, a huge crater. It's probably a mile from end to end. Um, And you're looking around, and you start to feel the moon shake again. You start to feel this just very, very slight vibration to the surface of the moon. Uh... Uh, All right. It's like he's a living vibrator. <laughs> What's that? Uh, this thing in my homeland now. So Granny used to use it a lot, from what I was told about. <laughs> whenever her, lo- whenever her uh, boyfriends came over and they didn't uh, keep her happy. That and the knife, the special knife. I will never forget that look on that their faces. <laughs> she circumcised them. <laughs> And there was no anesthesia. It just happened. To cure the heretics. And then she ate their foreskins. No! God damn it. Too far. Okay. The moon's vibrating. (laughs) Uh, Um, Killaback, any ideas? No? Okay. I think he's zoned out. Killaback is fully asleep. Standing up, walking with you. He's just knocked out. <laughs> Your idea, truly brilliance, utter silence. We'll we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, what? 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 Uh, use Moon as the back messenger. Mas- oh, massage. Eh, no, that's an idea. Yeah, let's let me down. No, no, you're good where you are. <laughs> May you repeat yourself? I was kind of zoning out for a second. I said any ideas, but if you're zoning out, I think that answers our question. Besmos, you, you f- good friend. <laughs> what do you want? Well, you know, to live a happy life, to be honest, but I don't think I'm getting that. Uh, so secondly, I'd like to know if you could find Destrian. Do you smell him, by chance? Or what could be him, or your wife? Where is wifey... Wifey is still down, but the direction is just very, very slightly shifted. Okay. So we're going into the moon, right? To me, that sounds well, like... Just a, just a straight intelligence check. All right. Seven. 
16? Yeah, whatever you decide it means is whatever Benes most things. You said it was just a slight? Very yep. slight. Very slight. Okay. So, in so that means hole? that it's probably on the surface then, right? Well, we're in a crater going into the center of the crater. Does it change again once we exit the crater? It's been generally in the same direction, crater or not, as you've been walking. It's just very, very slowly been changing. This man is like the champion of hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> like, at this point, where is this man? Uh, does does that so so does that mean that he's on the surface or that he's in the ground? I don't know. I mean, do we just nope, go? Ben to the, Desmos doesn't know. Do we just go uh, to the bottom way, of the? The rumbling is starting to get uh harder. Wait, and you're actually starting to hear what sound like footsteps. Be Bezmos. Hundreds and hundreds of footsteps. Do you have locate object? Uh, I do. Yeah. What What was she wearing when she uh, when you saw her in that spirit world dream back in your homeland? Do I know? Well, I I, I never like asked what what is she. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she had a pendant of the moon. Okay. Because that's the symbol of. Or the symbol that the lizard folk keep of yeah. uh, the god she worships. Yeah. Okay. So can I cast locate object for that? Uh, yeah. Also, you cast locate object. Mark off the spell slot. Done. Nothing seems to happen. Motherfucker. <laughs> you 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 don't pick anything up within a thousand feet. This this crater is much farther than a thousand feet from end to end. Uh, I don't have anything that helps us here. I mean, I guess I can cast legend lore on the moon and maybe find out something, but that's legit it. Or on Morningstar. Yeah, actually, you know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna cast legend lore um, and uh, thinking of Destry and Morningstar. To find out where the fuck this motherfucker is. Okay, so you think of Destrian Morningstar. Uh-huh. And nothing would come up. Motherfucker. Because it's just Destrian Morningfall. Well, fuck you, okay. It's always been Morningfall. <laughs> Why do I have it but in my notes as Morningstar, then? Because you say and write it wrong every time, and I'm sure you just wrote it wrong so many times that you changed it. Probably. Anyway, um, you cast Legend Lore on Destrian Morningfall, uh, and you see... You don't see a history behind him. Uh, strangely enough, you see him as he stands right now. Uh, oh. He is in a dark... Very, very, very low lit, really almost pitch black, barren landscape. Uh, similar to what you're on right now. Um, just much, much darker. Good news, uh, boys. We have to go in the moon. Uh, that seems like a lot. Of you work. okay? Because I don't want this to be based off of a description mistake. Same landscape you're on, just darker. Okay, gotcha. Um, Surface of the moon, <laughs> no, I, just I, I caught that, you're fine, no. Cool. Yeah, awesome. dark. So not inside the moon. On the other side cool. of it. Awesome. Still starts digging in the moon. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> um... Yeah, you see him uh, standing in the center of what is the real wizard college. All right. Uh, you see hundreds and hundreds of wizards chanting around, 
uh, in a circle, standing, sitting, um, chanting. Do I see anything? Their breath. You see red dots in the center of their foreheads, and their eyes are glowing yellow. And you see in the center of this ritual that he is overseeing, uh, a blue flame. Uh, I'm gonna cast locate object right after that on the from the blue flame. Okay, you cast locate object, you get nothing. Fuck you. It's way more than a thousand feet away. The moon is huge, dude. We're gonna be a walking feet for is less than a mile. We're gonna be walking for days. Good. <laughs> You're going no! to be walking for weeks. We can't find him at this rate. Like, if we don't get to him before he comes to life, <laughs> we die. Like, this is going to be a dude who's going to have Asmodeus's power and ability, if not stronger and scarier. Well, you've seen it, so... Uh, yeah, no, just gonna waste two so more. Just teleportation. <laughs> Give me the I helm. Of teleportation. Here we go. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna reach in and grab the helmet off Musa's head. I'm not wearing mm. it anymore. Take it. Go ahead. This is the worst fucking... I'm gonna hand... You grab the helm, stick it on your head, pissed off. You're starting to hear the foot beats louder and louder as the moon is starting to shake a little more. Nothing like it used to. Nothing like it was as violent. But you're looking around... And you're starting to see dust clouds rise up around the rim uh, of this crater. Yeah, time to teleport to where this was. Okay, well, you're not attuned, so. Fuck. You have to spend an hour to attune. Uh, well, boys, I've got good news. <laughs> um, and I chuck Musa out onto the ground. <laughs> Defend me! <laughs> and I sit down and start bleeding. <laughs> I'm working on this. <laughs> All right, you you begin to attune. Over the course of the next few minutes, um, you see two huge armies uh, barreling towards each other. Not necessarily towards you. You're just in the center of this crater. Oh, defend me! Uh, <laughs> as you look around and they all seem to be incredibly small creatures you see on one side they look to be these very very like albino white skinned uh goblins a little larger than most goblins but still very small um with like stringy black hair extremely long ears even for goblins uh, and they're all wearing, they're not wearing armor, they're wearing these, uh, just like rags, like potato Boy, sacks, but like rotting off them. Um, and they're all charging forward with these makeshift, uh, stone weapons. Um, <laughs> and you see the armor, or the armor, you see the army on the other side of you is literally from best you can tell a stampede of cats not tigers not tabaxi not cat people cats I love cats let's do animal handling <laughs> so you you see <laughs> these two armies charge towards each other with you in the middle uh they're getting closer and closer what would you all like to do um well Grung uh, is sitting uh, on the ground attuning <laughs> uh he's in the he's on the ground attuning mm -hmm. yeah yes. he's just sitting down he's he just yelled, protect me and he sat down and began attuning with the helmet uh do we just gonna... circle uh, we're getting out of here. Pick him up. <laughs> All right, I'll 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 pick him up. <laughs> All right, you pick him up. <laughs> Grong, you get thrown over this massive Goliath's shoulder Wait, like a sack of potatoes. What's happening? <laughs> we're getting out of here. I'm being kidnapped. Stranger danger. 
<laughs> Would you rather be eaten by a bunch of cats or really You'll be in danger life? if you stay here. I mean, uh, fair. All right. Go back to focusing on the helmet. All right. Where are you going? Away. I, I'm just going to follow the lizard man. Okay, you start running in a random direction because you didn't tell me where you're going. I, I just so let me roll to see what yeah. direction you what? run in. Uh, actually, can I choose to uh, run towards yes, what we saw? Yes, you can. Towards what, what you like, saw? The, uh, what was that, uh, the, the mages chanting or whatever? You don't know where that is. Only Grong saw that, and yeah. he doesn't know where it is. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, he threw know. the casting of a spell. Well, which is why... Cats and goblins running at each other. Yeah, which is it... why I want to just get out of the general area of that. Alright, so as a right. question, well, uh, we're, we're in the middle of these armies, you and... are You are in the center of a crater. You see, spanning pretty much the entirety of the rim uh, of the crater are these armies as they're charging in towards each other. There's already fighting going on around the outsides of the crater, and they're still charging in towards the center. Oh, so we're already surrounded as it is. Yeah. Defend cool. me! Oh, Defend me! Musa flies away. <laughs> How high do you fly, Musa? Yes. I know that I won't get hit by a bow. Yeah. All right. That's 40 feet, mate. I guess I'll just have to r run horizontally to the armies. All right. I'll follow them from above, you know. Uh, I'll, I guess, uh, is the direction we were walking into the crater, like, if we just kept moving that way, would that put me... It's the, the direction that you were walking is... Because you're in the center of the crater right now, the direction you were walking is into the army of goblins. Cool, turn left 90 degrees, walk that way. Fine. Alright. Who? Which army do you think is going to win? <laughs> the army is starting to clash uh, further and further down towards the center. Oh boy. Uh, oh. I'm just going to... Does a 16 hit your armor class, Musa? Uh, what are your rules in armor? Do you do the same thing as DM, or do you do if it matches, it hits? Matches, it hits. That's the rules yes. on armor. Yeah, I'm hit. Oh, all right. You, you get hit by a wayward arrow as you see a small cloud of arrows from these goblin archers shooting towards the army of the uh, the cats. You take four points of piercing damage. I'm flying these higher. Are just regular it. stone weapons. I'm going up farther. Okay. All right, you're flying higher. Um, you always got that fire breath. Yeah, no. <laughs> finally use it on something. Five levels of exhaustion, I'm not doing that right. Uh, you see floating behind the, uh, the goblin ranks are actually a few chained beasts that they have. Uh, you see, actually none of you were there from the original party who would recognize these things. No. Um... But you see four large white orbs floating with m a massive red eye in the center of this, like, ball uh, that's just floating along. Uh, and it is covered in these long white tentacles that end in these spiked, like, suction cups. Um, and they are floating behind the goblin ranks as... They are about to crash together. What do you all want to do as the war is about to hit you? Uh, uh, a a a any ideas, Besmos? Get out of here. There's no what do you mean, get out? There is no get out. There's The only out is up. So where are you going, Besmos? <laughs> Fucking... It's either up or through. Fucking fine. <laughs> We're going through. Alright, through the cats or through the goblins? 
I don't like to look at the goblins, so we're going through the goblins. All, All right. right. I would I'm, like I'm to going to. I'm gonna. I... I'm, I'm, Go ahead. I'm gonna wild shape, and I'm gonna okay. wild shape into a motherfucking ankylosaurus. <laughs> and I'm going to just start charging. Can I? Get... All right. All right. I, I was gonna hope to get on your back. Would that be? Would that be an issue? Would that take too no. long? <laughs> no, you can get on. So kill a back grong. <laughs> you are both on Besmos' back. Uh, oh, as oh, oh. the war collides together, these two huge armies, um, you see the cats, as they slam into the ranks of the goblins, they do, like, jump up and slash at the goblins. Not incredibly effectively, but you see many of the front and back lines kind of start to bear down on their haunches now that they're close to the goblins, and you see a lot of the goblins' eyes just roll back in their heads. Uh, some of them start bleeding out of the eyes and nose and just fall over. Some of them actually turn to each other and stab each other with their weapons. Um, and you all hear a voice in your mind that goes, Hello. Who are you? And why are you in the middle of our war? The fuck? Why am I is hearing this while attuning? Is that um, the goat? Is that... Wait, what? Is it the goat? Is it not? No. That sounds like the goat. I am no goat. Yeah. I am a cat. Thing. You sound like a goat. Uh, yeah. You sound like a goat friend of ours. Sorry. No, no I'm Yo, pretty sure there's a goat. Kinda kind of new to all this. Uh, I kind of got know. here by accident. Um, that is an incredible insult where I come from. I uh, would suggest you do not make it again. Now, who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm a mercenary. Uh, this is all happening while you're charging through ranks of goblins. Uh, I mean, you're taking damage here and there from different goblins like, oh, there's a dinosaur stampeding through us let's stab it i want to cast uh, you're like a knocking cone of gold inside at... and trampling them oh you're casting the what i'm a, i want to cast cone of cold into the goblins <laughs> <laughs> okay a massive 60 foot cone of goblins like with minimum damage and making their saves they all fall over dead they are frozen solid and just like shatter in front of you you have a large amount of room that you can run as goblins are now like <laughs> running all around you like completely avoiding you oh um, okay okay that's what happens they clash okay. with the cats i didn't uh, know how charges worked so i'm gonna is it okay if i quickly do uh the rest to get my charges back because i kind of all right oh i see what do you feel? What's up? Okay, so um, I thought um, how I was looking at things. So I on the ring that I have, it, right. uh, I see you know like one charge, two charge, three charge on mm -hmm. some of the. So uh, what I thought it was okay, that specific spell gets two charges, no. but I didn't realize it was two charges yeah, towards no the twelve it charges. Twelve overall, and it eats your charges. Yeah. yeah. And I kind of just clicked it like a few times, thinking it wasn't working. So is it okay gotcha. if I, you know, is it okay yeah, if I do yeah. the rest so and then I'll make sure to click it once? Just fix it. You can go yeah, in and have... manually click it, man. Yeah. Uh, you can go into your inventory. And click away the um, And click, like, to add charges back. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Um, uh, so you'd be at 10. Yeah, yeah, I'll do 10. I'll, I'll put up to 12 and just, uh cast a spell again just to make sure i'm not doing anything stupid cool all right there go. uh yeah you guys are running through uh this battle um you hear in your heads again i ask you again who are you and why are you in our war we're goat people <laughs> shut, shut up <laughs> We are, we are, we are not foe. I can promise you that. We, we do not intend to be, to be here. Hold on, hold on. Oh we are enemies of Destrian Morningfall. We are here to, uh, avenge oh, our fallen comrades. No need. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. We hate that guy. 
<laughs> Can you point us in the right direction? Are we? Good one. Are we? Are we? Finally, break through the last of the ranks of uh, this goblin army that was actually pretty massive. Uh, you're starting to peek up onto the top of the uh, crater, and you look back behind you, and you see the entire cat army has stopped charging, and they're just kind of laying around as the entire goblin army are all stabbing each other. You see some are actually having sex with each other. Like, the cats are just messing around with them at this point. What the fuck? These are extremely powerful psionic cats. <laughs> because you are in the plane of dreams. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I'm attuning. I don't see any of this. It's bound to live here as they go back to sleep. This place is great. God damn it. This, this place have... actually reminds you a lot of your home, Musa. Oh, yeah. God. Cats, uh, cat orgies. Got it. It's his dream. I knew it. <laughs> this is my dream. That's where we are. <laughs> if, you, if you want, we can, we can try killing off a bunch of more of these uh, goblins. While we wait for him to attune, or actually, no, we should... how about we keep <laughs> running in this direction just in case? Eh, good idea. Yeah, okay. We'll just keep going. All right. You uh, like... sorry. No, I was about. To... I was just gonna say, you know, the cats look like they got it under control. Cool. You are you like at full charge in your dinosaur form, Desmos? Uh... Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting out of here as soon as possible. Gotcha. All right. Well, you're full charging for three, four hours. Only an hour, and only to a tune. Oh right, you're charging for an hour. Grong, you finish your attunement. I want to teleport us into that room, uh, preferably right. not onto the flame. Uh, Musa, though. I, you know what, Musa, it's his hey, fault. I'm, ended. I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping on your back. Oh. Roll a d100. Oh, this is gonna go uh, quite well. Uh, it did last time uh, when I teleported to a white dragon lair. Uh, 23. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's the same roll I got last time. <laughs> that's a misfire. Oh boy. Okay, boys. That was only its last charge. <sighs> okay. All right. Cool. Okay. It only gains its charges back on dawn, by the way, if anybody uh, wants to know. So we're um we're about to be in a very unique situation where we can't do anything. Hey, funny thing. There's no sun in this plane of existence. So twenty four hours till dawn. I hope. There's no such thing as dawn here. Fuck. So we don't get it back. <laughs> so it's basically a helmet. Okay. It is a helmet. It is going back in my hey. bag of holding. Alright, I got I ten just, charges just, left for my Because my you ring. didn't stop Besmos from charging. You just kind of, you felt it a tune and you're like, alright, here we go. Grab dawn to everybody. Uh, and mid-charge. Uh... <laughs> You are teleported. Besmos, as you're charging, you feel this shove as you're teleported, and all of you on the back of Besmos uh, see what he hasn't realized yet, as you all kind of, like, shake your heads and realize where you are. Complete black, barren landscape. No. But there seems to be like some sort of wall in front of him and Besmos you slam into the wall <laughs> and actually take uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage in your beast form uh, as you kind of get rattled a little bit you have to <laughs> shake your head and look around um, you have slammed into not a wall but it might as well be a massive wall of flesh and anger. Uh, 
you see in front of you Destrian's army. You see creatures from the Hells, creatures from the Abyss, creatures from the Far Realm. You you see creatures from really just about any plane of existence you can think of other than Modrons. And you see they are all standing there, glowing red dot in the center of their foreheads, same as the wizards at the college. Glowing yellow eyes. And this one, a 60-foot-tall, hunched-over, gorilla-like creature, which... I'll say everyone roll a religion check. Oh, boy. I'm good at these, boys! I'm not good at these, boys! <laughs> Uh, six. <laughs> Fuck me and nine. Uh, three. Well, I'm not the lowest. No anything. Twenty-one. What the fuck? <laughs> you recognize this creature as a creature from the abyss. Um, is this a demigorgon? It's Harambe. It is. It is not a demon lord. It is just a demon. But it is a sixty-foot tall wall of hatred. It is a siege monster and the demon armies. Um, let me see if I can find its name. Uh, it looks sort of loosely like a extremely massive gorilla. Uh, except distorted with like this purple flesh um, it's called an Udak. Oh, fuck me, no. Uh, four, uh, glowing yellow eyes, uh, glowing yellow to symbolize that it is taken over by Destrian. Um, and it looks down at you as you all look up at it, and you see this army standing in front of you. You don't see a college. You don't see anything off in the distance. You just see hundreds and hundreds of troops who look down at you and all start to charge. And that's where we'll leave the session for tonight. Okay. What an interesting